The nation's oldest living park ranger is now retired. She's 100-year-old Betty Reed Soskin. After a long career working at Richmond's Rose the Riveter Visitor Center, today she said her final goodbyes. KPX5 anchor Julia Goodrich joins us with more. Hi, Ryan. You know, today we got a chance to hear from Betty Reed Soskin. Ranger Betty, as she is adoringly called, has been a prominent figure in the Bay Area. And today we were able to listen to her talk about her remarkable career. Women are now very different than they were a long time ago. Betty Reed Soskin has led quite a career in the National Park Service. Her last year spent at Richmond's Rosie the Riveter World War II Homefront National Historic Park, where we find her today, a park she helped bring to Richmond. History is not dead, it's not gone. And Betty is a great uh, living example of how, um, how we bridge those time periods and how the past is the present and it informs the present, sir. Soskin grew up in Oakland. She joined the National Park Service at the age of 84. And prior to that, she worked to help uncover untold stories of African Americans on the home front during World War II. And I think that women of color are still having problems voting. I wish it weren't so. And I don't think it will be for very long. As part of the celebrations surrounding her 100th birthday and retirement, a middle school in El Sobrante was renamed in her honor. Some of her fondest memories? To meet the Obamas, that was probably one of the greatest things I've ever done. I was invited by the Department of the Interior, and I was able to introduce the president on the stage to all of America. And her final thoughts to us all as we step foot onto our national parks to explore its wonder and history. I think that if anything, that they're surprised by their own surprise, that they never know, they don't realize how much it all really counts on them. That we each carry so much history. And that we each drop the history off when we take in these parks. And if those words aren't inspiration and encouragement enough to pay a visit to our national parks, this might. Admission is free tomorrow to all national parks.